Hello friends, this is DMC Aim and this is just a quick unboxing video. I've received a couple of parcels in the post and I thought I'd open them on camera. I'm pretty sure what this one is, it was sent in by viewer Brian. I think it was Horsebox Coffee that he ordered these coffees from and got very kindly sent them to me. This one, I'm not entirely sure. I've been in contact with it few um, coffee producers, roasters um, recently so I'm not entirely sure until you open this one. So what I will do is we'll open the one I received first. Pretty poor taping job on them, surprised the box stayed um, sealed. So I don't need to cut it, I'll just tear the tape off here. Let's have a look what's inside. Oh, very interesting. So here we go, Horsebox Coffee Co, wholesome coffee with character, and there we go, hi David, as you are running out of coffee to review under lockdown, here is some to be going on with, enjoy from Brian, so a massive thank you to Brian for that, and yeah, at the time I was getting low on coffees, but as with buses, you don't see any for ages and then a load all turn up at the same time it's the same with coffees for me so here we go it's in a nice sort of canvas bag um, I haven't got any rabbits so this isn't going to come in any use to me or hamsters so here we go let's take a look at what coffees we have here so horse box coffee single origin dark horse I've got to say the um, smell from this box, I've had this on top of the cupboard since I received it for about a week now and I kept getting the smell from somewhere and I was thinking I've got terrible supermarket coffees, um, where's the smell coming from and I didn't realise it was um, from this box but there we go, there's the information for that coffee, dark horse, bold chocolatey and caramelised the next one is La Estrella, and that's a guest coffee, horse box coffee, it's a Peruvian, that one is, um, doesn't actually say, single origin anyway. So, moving on, the last one. This is Horsebox Brew, this is Brazilian Minas Gerais, I've just um, reviewed a Minas Gerais coffee from um, Pat Coffee, so that's another one, look like really nice coffees and as I say the smell coming from them was absolutely fantastic, so once again a massive thank you to Brian for sending that to me, I'll get rid of the box. And yeah, nice little canvas bag there for putting things in. There we go. So, as I say, a massive thank you to Brian for that one. Um, just put these coffees off to one side. And we'll take a look inside the mystery box, which when you open it, I'll probably recognise instantly where it's from, but... At the moment, um, there was a label on the side that said um, liquid, liquid lime and I haven't been in contact with anyone from a company called Liquid Lime so here we go, let's take a look inside. <clears throat> well, this looks very interesting so far. So we've got a box here, a mystery box which I'll leave to last. We've got some vanilla fudge, liquid line. So, take a look inside there. I once got fudge with coffees from the Dog and Hat um, subscription box. That's the second time I've re received um, fudge with coffees. Oh, here we go. This is who it's from. Pub coffee. And this is the focused one, decaffeinated coffee beans. That's a massive 
500 gram bag that and as I say I'll be reviewing all these in individual reviews to make it a lot simpler so that's the first one that is decaf the next one the excited one coffee beans 100 uh, 500 gram bag I do remember speaking to the people at pub now and I didn't think that they'd send me this amount of coffee to be honest with you that's what five 500 gram bags this is the shy one coffee beans there we go and I can as I mentioned with the other bag, this one's the same. The, the, the smell coming from these bags is absolutely wonderful. And there we go, the next one, the thoughtful one. I'll try and get more information off the website um, about these coffees before I do the reviews and I'll um, get a bit more information on these coffees. And that last one is the eccentric one. So that's a Rainforest Alliance, that's a fair trade. Now let's take a look inside the mystery box. Let's see what's inside here. There we go. Whitaker's chocolates. And there's the different ones in there. I'm not the biggest fan of um, fancy chocolates, so. I'll find um, someone to give these to. They look nice anyway. Quality. They look good quality, don't they? Um, so there we go. Chocolates, fudge and coffee. The perfect combination. And a massive thank you to the people at Hub um, Coffee for sending these out to me. I will add links in the description below. And... Also, a massive thank you to Brian um, for sorting out them coffees for me from the, the horse box coffee. Um, yeah, as I say, I'll add links in the description below for horse box coffee and for hub coffee. Look out for these reviews. Um, as I say, I'll do them all as individual reviews at some point in the very near future. Anyone who's tried coffees from Horsebox Coffee or from Hub Coffee, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future, subscribe to my channel. That was my quick unboxing video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.